morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Friday the 19th of October. Um, somebody said my voice was really crackly yesterday, I actually went back and listened. I don't like listening to my own voice, but I did. And yes, it was really crackly, but I, I do the readings when I first get up in the morning and um, <laughs> I'm sometimes not awake, so maybe that's why I haven't spoken. So five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. Um, a couple of things I wanted to say too. Sagittarius got the bonus reading yesterday and I sort of introduced it and everything and then thought actually other people aren't going to hear that. So I just want to say this week Sagittarius was my highest view with 6.5 I think thousand people um, or views. Um, Cancer actually came in pretty close behind that, so which really surprised me because Cancer hasn't been my biggest viewer up till now. Um, and Libra, of course, always high, always up there, Libra, go the Libras. Um, and some people, some star signs I rarely reach, which I think is a little odd, but I guess I've heard other readers talk about that. Um, thank you very much, by the way, for subscribing. The cards are very lively today. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, yet, I'd love to have you on board. Um, the journey has been amazing. I love doing your readings. I actually really, um, I think I'm enjoying this as much as I do personal ones, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so we're ready to get going. I do have the after tarot today. So what's cracking for Friday? Oh, message coming in. Most likely from um, an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, but it could be with, from someone who actually is just very down to earth and grounded. Um, this person wants to offer you something more stable. This could be an offer of a job. For some of you, I feel like you're going from maybe something like casual to full time. Um, it could be just their personality, in which case, you know, they're very... They're sort of people who are very in, in touch with themselves, very, um, as I said, down to earth, very humble, true understanding. The only thing is with the Knight of Pentacles, you can see his horse is <laughs> extremely well rested because he doesn't move very quickly. So this could be, could be something that you've waited for for a little while. Okay, so first card out is the Page of Wands. Now again, um, this sort of, the Page of Wands is a card that often talks about a message coming in too. Um, and this is a message that's often brought in that's quite passionate. Um, I feel this is more today of some sort of conversation that you're going to have with someone. Um, it feels like you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart sort of conversation with someone something sort of quite deep. So I don't know what this is in regard to. Um, this can be, you know, a, a message of passion, but this feels more to me like you're actually speaking to someone about it. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. It has a little bit of a different feel. Definitely stability here. Okay, so this may be a relationship, um, but it could be about work as well because or even you know something around business I also feel for some of you this may be a contact through somebody that's offering you a property you may have you may have got um, a call regarding uh, an offer you've put in for a property or a call to say that you've been approved for a rental property I really feel that this is sort of like a a very meaningful conversation here so I think somebody's either been waiting for a while um, this could be you know ringing other people to say you've got the house that you wanted and feeling very passionate about that but there's also yeah this feeling of being offered stability in the way of something a little bit more permanent um, for you though there's this sort of balancing up of something here so if it's a house or a property, maybe you're balancing up, you know, how you're going to coordinate a move, whether you want this property or whether you've seen something else you prefer. Um, 
I feel like some of you aren't fully agreeing with the person you're buying with. It's I feel like you'll get your way here, though. So if you're tossing up whether to go one way or the other, I feel like the person who's watching this is idea will be the one that is pushed forward. Um, but definitely this feeling of tossing up like trying to sort of work out which way to go here. Um, and that's quite right too, because I just said I think you'll get your way. So the energy here that you're giving forth in this reading is one where you really are quite determined here to have exactly what you want. Um, it's sort of like... There's something for this that you really need to stand your ground here with. There's something you're wanting here. And even though you're tossing up which way to go, I feel like you really need to stand your ground and speak up and say what it is you want. Because there's been sort of a lot of work by you to manifest this. So it has, doesn't feel like a relationship here. It, feel, it could be anything. It could apply to any area. But basically what's happening here is something is coming in for you that gives you this stability. For some unknown reason, you're tossing up whether to go with it or not. But I can see that you're really in this frame of mind where you want this. So whichever way you want is the way you will go. Because you're very determined here in this Queen of Swords energy to make sure you get the result you want. But in order to do that, you've got to speak your truth. Now, when I see this card and I think, you know, you've been waiting for for this to, for something to come through here. You've planted some seeds here to get them growing. So there's been manifesting here. And I feel like what you've manifested, what you wanted is coming to you. You don't need to sort of fight against it. Um, whatever it is, it's like you're putting up some barriers here to having what you want. And I feel like, you know, maybe what this is too, because this is the card of the wounded warrior, and maybe it is because you've you've not come off in front before. You know, maybe this sort of situation's hit you before. Maybe you don't trust the other party here too. This is why you're tossing up whether to move forward here. Because I feel like you've sort of, you know, you've obviously been taken advantage of before. And, and there's this worry here of moving forward in case it's the same situation again. And I think this is why you're really exerting yourself here. Because I feel like you feel if you take control here and do it your way, that the other person will fall behind. Yeah, there's definitely this feeling of betrayal in the past that's put you in this position. There's definitely a feeling of not trusting where you're going here. This is why you want to take control. This is why you're trying to take control. Okay, you don't have to worry. This is, you know, this is being divinely guided here. So whatever you're supposed to do here, whatever direction you're supposed to go in, is the right one. And you know it in your heart. This is why you're enforcing your side here. Really important that you follow what you know is right. Do not let, you know, be sort of led astray by this sort of, you know, feeling of not trusting and, and fearing betrayal. Because actually your way is the correct way and it's the way the universe is leading you. Look at this. This is beautiful because the, the universe is leading you towards this sun. I think you know in your heart this is the right thing to do. You are going in the right direction. But I feel like someone around you is trying to sway you from that decision or push you in another direction. So you keep questioning, you know, should I, shouldn't I? But actually you should because you know it's the right thing to do. Um, and here you are, look, planting seeds for your future. So I really like this because I feel like whatever this is, whatever you're going after here is the right direction. I'd love to know what it is. We had one of these yesterday. Not a single cup card here again. So it doesn't feel to me like it's a love situation. It could be about work. It could be about a job offer. It could be about a business. I, I know some of you said yesterday that you were going into business. Hey, guys, you need to stick to your guns. You know what's the right thing to do here. Don't let someone sway you. Don't, don't have 
these sort of lapses in confidence or your self-esteem because you're not sure what direction to go in because this is something you, you've manifested. You're moving in the right direction here. You need to take it up and go with it. Um, don't fear that you're going to be betrayed or let down here because you know that it's correct and right and it's going to lead stability. So whatever it is, you're on the right path. The sun's here and the star's here. I love that. Look how beautiful that is. So definitely on the right path here. Okay, that card came out nice and quick this morning. Oh, how funny. The card reading doesn't have anything about love here. But... The card that's come out is Chantel and it says new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Now if this does apply to you in a romantic sense, I mean it could still apply. It's just that it's almost like it's a negotiation rather than a love situation. But I guess for some of you it could be about you know, deciding to move forward on an offer of, of love. But to me, it's it's very much a um, it's very much a situation of you know understanding where you need to go and wanting to go that direction. But there's no love here. There's passion. There's definitely passion here. But this feeling of betrayal, you know, you you're just treating this either like a you know negotiating a, a contract <laughs> maybe. But for some of you, this will resonate. Thanks, guys.